Hello and welcome to Kid Design's second tutorial on 1-2-3D design. In this video we'll talk about creating basic 3D shapes, moving them, scaling them, and deleting them. If we look at the top menu of the software, we have different options on creating and modifying shapes. The basic 3D shapes are called primitives, where we have boxes, spheres, cylinders, and so on. Let's start off by creating a simple box. The box has a default size, so if we uh, move it around, it will be floating around the grid, and once we click the mouse, it will place it onto the grid. It will snap onto the grid so it's always um, flat down on the, on the base. Now if we want to create a box which, is, which has other dimensions, before clicking, we can modify the dimensions in this bottom menu here, which uh, appears um, as we click on the shape. So the length we can input literally by typing in on our keyboard, let's say 30. Then to move on to width, uh, click tab on the keyboard and let's make that 40. And again tab to modify the height and let's make that 10. So we've made uh, a box of different dimensions and then again we can click wherever we want to place it, let's say here. Now if we want to modify the size of that um, shape or even move it around once we've positioned it, we need to select it and you know that it's selected if it's got this green highlight around it and this new menu appears on the bottom of the screen. In this menu if we click move we have this uh, floating interface that appears on the box which allows us to move it in different dimensions, um, in different directions, sorry, uh, and rotate it as well. Now the way to move it is to actually drag the different arrows. Now if we drag this arrow, it will only move it in one axis. If we drag this arrow, it will move it in another axis, and so forth. Same with rotation. We need to click on this little circle, and we can rotate it in a certain in a certain way. Now if we want to be really precise about the rotation we could input the angle in this little menu here. So let's say 15 degrees and it rotates it exactly 15 degrees. We click enter and there it's done. Same with the moving. If we want to move it let's say in this direction, we can either see here in the menu what's going on, or we can type in, we want to move it by 10 millimeters, enter, there, it's done. Now let's talk about scaling. We've made this shape, but we really feel we want to change its dimensions. We have either smart scale or regular scale. Regular scaling allows you to either scale uniformly, which by dragging this arrow will scale the whole shape or if we change uniform to non-uniform you can scale it only in one direction basically either change the length the width or the height okay now smart scale if we choose that same shape again click smart scale we'll have these corners highlighted on our um, on our object, on our model. And we can drag those, either drag a corner or a whole edge. And again, what's really useful is we'll see exactly the dimensions that are going to be um, created after our scaling happens. So we can be very precise about that. And again, to confirm that, we can either press Enter on our keyboard or the green tick there. Now a few other useful tips. If we want to copy an object that we already created, let's say we want two of these boxes, we can click uh, Command C and Command V on our keyboard or Control C, Control V on PC and the, the new model that's copied has been placed exactly up, uh, over the top of this existing model. So we need to just drag it and move it to where we want it. Click enter and there is our copy. If we want to get rid of a model 
we just need to select it and click backspace on our keyboard and we've removed it. Same here and same here. And if we want to go back a step, we want to undo. There's this useful arrow here, which undoes each step individually, or you can use commands Z or control Z on your keyboard. That's it for this tutorial. Please keep watching for other useful options and tutorials uh, that we created for Autodesk. Thank you.